What's up guys? You know, whenever I come across a really neat product, I like to go ahead and showcase it here on my channel. It isn't just about phones or tablets. Sometimes it's the accessories that complement our phones and tablets. And today I want to talk about a Bluetooth speaker that I think deserves some recognition. So without further ado, let's get started. This Bluetooth speaker is made by a company called Luga Lake. If you are subscribed to my channel, you'll know that I made or I did a review on a wireless charger made by the exact same company called Luga Lake. And it's probably the best wireless charger that I own. So I decided to give them a try on their wireless Bluetooth speaker. I already own a really good speaker and most of you that actually saw my review on this guy loved it, bought one and thought it was great. But the problem with this guy is that he is not Bluetooth capable. Of course, you can hack it, modify it to make it work. But I mainly bought this guy for the form factor. I wanted a true speaker or a true wireless Bluetooth speaker that was going to work good. And I'm very happy with this one. I want to show you all of its neat features and functionality. So initially, I wanted a portable speaker, something that was lightweight. And this is truly lightweight. I like the design. It has a metal look, but it looks really great. As a matter of fact, most people that would look at it probably thought that it was brushed aluminum. In the back here, we have the on and off switch to turn on the device. We have an auxiliary input in case you have a tablet or phone or a device that's not Bluetooth uh, capable. So you still have that option. And of course you have your power input, which also charges the speaker and from my experience, it lasts about six to seven hours. But really what I like about this is the form factor. I like that you are, you are able to place a tablet or a phone right here. It has a little wedge and it works really good. As a matter of fact, let me show you to give you a comparison of how it looks with multiple or with different tablets. So for example, here I have the first generation Nexus 7. So this is a lot bulkier than the current generation. And let me show you what that looks like when you uh, set it down. Fits really good. As a matter of fact, I would say that this looks best with smaller tablets. Let me go ahead and turn this around so you can see what it looks like uh, from the back. So from the back, you can see that it's just slightly smaller than the actual speaker itself, but it looks really great. It looks fantastic. And even when you have these larger devices, it still looks good. But overall, I would recommend it more if you have a smaller tablet so you can watch a movie here, you know, load up Netflix, or if you have a play, uh, you have play music or something like that, you can go ahead and load that. Let me go ahead and show you the iPad. Some of you guys have iPads out there. This one has a case on it, so it's going to add a little bit of bulk to it. But let me go ahead and show you what this looks like when you have it right there. So even with the iPad, which is, you know, the form factor is a little bit bigger, it looks great. No problem. Let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. This is a lot heavier, of course, what it looks like from behind. As you can see, the case here serves its purpose and it has no problem at all with fitting right perfectly snug there. Let's go ahead and bring a bigger guy, which is the Nexus 10. So the Nexus 10 is slightly bigger than the iPad, but overall, like I said, it still looks great even though it surpasses the width of the speaker. And then let's go ahead and take a look back here. So you have that nice branding of Nexus. So you can see the logo right there. Looks really neat. But of course, what does a speaker sound like? That's probably the number one question, right? Because what good is, does it, it doesn't matter if it looks good if it doesn't have great quality sound. So I went ahead and set up this Nexus 10 about three feet away from this uh, microphone. Now keep in mind that the Nexus 10 has front facing speakers so the volume is, volume is going to be much louder and that's exactly what I want you guys to hear is a best case scenario. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what the Nexus 10 at full volume sounds like and I'm going to go ahead and switch it over to the Luga Lake and then I'm going to keep doing that back and forth and keep, keep note of a little icon on the left so you can know which speaker is what which I'm sure you'll be able to tell. So let's go ahead and hit play. And like I said, this is at full volume, just so you can see. And these are the Nexus 10. I'm looking for someone who was sold to you. A half-breed banished from our land. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you now what the Luga Lake sounds like. And we are at full volume. So check it out. And then I'm going to go cycle back and forth. I'm looking for someone who was sold to you. A half-breed banished from our land.
Now I know it can be a little bit difficult for you guys to really appreciate the sound quality that is coming out of this speaker, especially watching it from a YouTube video. Imagine trying to watch a concert on YouTube, but not really being there. Of course, the quality is not going to translate and it's also going to depend on the type of speakers that you have. So you gotta trust me on this when I say this. This guy sounds really good. As a matter of fact, I've listened to the Beats by Dre, that little pillbox that, that he has. And I would say it's really comparable to that. You're not going to get that extreme bass like you would with the pillbox, but it's very good when it comes to like your highs and mids. But overall, I would highly recommend it, especially for the price tag. My only recommendation to the company Luga Lake, and I'm going to act, I'm actually going to send them this video, is if they can create something similar to this, but with wireless charging cap capability. Imagine that. Imagine how cool that would be if rather than having a dock like most of these. Um, speaker sets have why don't you just have wireless capability on there well, wireless charging that would be neat you put your Nexus 4 your Nexus 7 Nexus 5 wireless charging capability you just set it on there and it begins to charge so really cool so anyhow guys I hope you enjoyed the video if you really did make sure you give it a thumbs up and also I would really appreciate this if you share this with all of your friends and family it does help grow the channel and until next time adios